So growing up, I only attended the church because apparently my both parents attended the church and all of that. So growing up in the church, I loved the church so much. Oh, see, this is not going to work out because I really cannot leave the church. I can't go to another church. I can't do this. I can't do that. And then I, it's difficult. Like you're living somewhere you've been all your life, formed all your values, formed everything, and then you're going to a different church entirely. And you're trying to like fit in and... <laughs> welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time here my name is christiana show me Ayere. and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always coming back to my channel and thank you for always engaging my content in my last video i did some play around with the background and i don't know if you noticed but i didn't get any comments so i'm trying to choose which position and which effect is like best for my videos and i really need you guys to say something so in this video, I want to talk about something very important. I don't know the title I'm going to give this video yet, but I feel like by the time I finish filming and editing, I would find a title for the video. So while I was younger, okay, for people who don't know, I was actually born a Christian. I'm born into the Celestial Church of Christ. And that was the church that I attended all my life up until now. So growing up, I only attended the church because apparently my both parents attended the church and all of that. So growing up in the church, I loved the church so much and I never thought that I would not attend the church. So basically, I had a mental picture painted about my ideal family. I had a mental picture painted about what I wanted for myself. I had a family picture painted already in my head and then... In the advent of Instagram, I would go to Instagram, you know, check the pages, save couple pictures, wearing their garments with their kids, with their children, and you know, I'll be all loved up. And sometimes I'll be posted, oh, Celestial family, beautiful family, and all of that. I really do not remember how many people I broke up with for not attending my church because I really wanted to marry someone that would share the same values, someone that would share the same ideas. Someone that, you know, would not have conflicting beliefs. Or so I thought. So I, like, okay, when I started, I'm like, okay, so can you attend my church? And the moment the person says, oh, no, I'm not sure I can attend your church, or I don't think I like your church, I'm always like, oh, see, this is not going to work out, because I really cannot leave the church. I can't go to another church. I can't do this. I can't do that. And then I go on and on and on. And then we go in the relationship, up, down, up, down, and then we end up separating and it was like that for like two or three guys or four guys i don't even know because i think i only met one or two people that attended my church so i did not even have luck with dating guys that attended my church and it's not my it's not my fault you will not blame me like i wanted it so bad but they were not coming my way so it was just it and then i met my husband <sighs> when i met him number one my husband is not Yoruba. I was like, really? Ah. I beg, only me and my Yoruba guys alone. Me. I, I like them like that. And then number two, he doesn't even attend my church. And then I was just laid back, you know. But prior to meeting him, you know, I already like read books. I already prayed. And I think I had a different perspective to this topic. So when I met him and then we started talking, we discussed it in our talking stage. Our talking stage did not even last two or three weeks. Yeah. But we actually discussed it in our talking stage because we're not going to play games and we like really wanted to know what we're in for. So we discussed it. And then he told me that he wasn't comfortable attending my church. I'm like, okay. Yeah, I know. I know you're not comfortable attending my church. And well, really, before I decided to date you, I already thought, if you want to attend my church, then I will attend your church. Like, I really do not want to bring up my children in a house where the beliefs do not align. I don't want any conflicting ideas building up in my children's lives. I want them to know what they know for what it is, not for what someone is going to make them feel it is. So, 
that was it i told him okay it's fine if you don't like my church it's okay i would attend your church and you know it will be good and i thought it was so easy to say like they say it is easier said than done you know i've attended this church for over 20 years of my life and then i have to suddenly just change not to say that i didn't attend other churches in between like while i was in school you know attending campus fellowships and all of that but i never like changed church my church has always been ccc so we we're going to get married and then i decided okay since i'm going to be getting married to you let me start attending your church you know let me acclimatize myself to the things of your church and then i started attending the church you know I actually did for over a year but ah, the church was not giving what I thought it would give. No offense, no offense. But I wasn't just catching up. Like I was far apart. It was tough to fit in. I tried to join some departments in the church, you know, so that I'm committed and I really just want to do this. But then it was difficult. Like everything was not just working. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. It's difficult like you're living somewhere you've been all your life formed all your values formed everything and then you're going to a different church entirely and you're trying to like fit in and then some people they are not even like looking your way they don't they don't even know you so it's not really important but then you're not getting what you think you should get and then i remember calling my husband and talking to him about it like we we're talking about it gradually and gradually and gradually up until when i felt like okay i don't think i can continue going to this church again and then i spoke to him about it like i don't think i'm growing in this church i don't think i'm finding my place in this church and i really do not just want to go to church for the sake of going to church i want to go to church for the sake of god and my husband was like okay you know what it's fine i think you should just attend your church while i attend my church and i'm like okay 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 no problems i will attend my church and you attend your church any the time we find a church that both of us can actually just put fit in at least that way we know that everybody is like on the same page we are balanced so the reason why i'm making this video is i don't want you to miss your husband because he does not attend your church yeah you need to be open-minded so one of the things that the Holy Spirit talked to me about while i made this decision was everybody is serving the same god yeah the end goal is to make the kingdom of god we are all christians we study the word i don't know about some churches though because there are some churches that they don't even do the normal things that believers do or the normal things that christians do the normal um foundation that is laid in christianity for all humans i'm, I'm talking about some churches where the pastors are like seen like demigods so that's not what i'm referring to now i'm talking about bible believing churches like if you and your spouse have an issue of which church to attend or what to do about your churches, you attend two different churches and both of you are like maybe members of executive and all of that. I would like for you to try visit each other's churches and then discuss, like have honest discussions about it. And then if you're not able to strike a balance, go to a level ground, pick a different church where both of you are like new members. And then you go there you join you learn and you grow together so it really is not difficult so there's no point trying to make things difficult for yourself so i'm saying this because although i didn't make mistakes okay maybe i made mistakes but then i'm married to my husband and i'm very certain that i didn't make a mistake with him so maybe if i had ended up with one of the other guys i probably would have made a mistake but i don't think church is like a reason for you to not be with someone or to deny yourself of the joy that you want i feel like if both of you are christians then why not visit each other's churches learn each other's cultures learn the doctrines learn the norms if you can adjust fine if you can adjust go to a level ground a new church a different church entirely and then grow together let me know what you think in the comment section down below don't forget to watch these two videos popping up on the screen and i'll see you in my next video until then